Hello, this is Lynn Hansen, KU7Q, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'd like to introduce CTR2 Voice, a new accessibility option for CTR2 Micro. I'll refer to the CTR2 Voice as the Voice, and CTR2 Micro as the, the Micro in this video. The Micro is a small radio controller that supports a wide variety of amateur radios. I'll add a link to my website and other videos about it on YouTube in the description below if you'd like to find out more about it. The Micro has always included a code report feature that allows it to be used without a display. Not everyone knows the code, so with some prodding from a couple of blind hams, I developed the voice to take the code report output and send it to a text-to-speech synthesizer instead. This provides an ideal accessibility solution for blind and sight-limited hams. It's also useful for using the micro in a portable or mobile setting where a display would be distracting. The Voice is a Wi-Fi enabled text-to-speech synthesizer housed in the same enclosure used for the micro. It measures 60 mm by 60 mm by 20 mm high about 2 and 3 eighths inches by 2 and 3 eighths inches by 7 eighths inch. There are no user controls on the device. It has a USB-C connector for power, a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack for audio output, and a status LED. The audio output is transformer isolated and DC blocked so it can drive a variety of powered speakers, headphones, or PC sound card inputs. With only 20 milliwatts of output power, the voice cannot drive a speaker directly. The unit can be powered by a computer's USB port, a cell phone charger, a USB battery, or an OTG adapter on a tablet or cell phone. Okay, let's go ahead and run through a little uh, demo of the CTR2 voice working with the micro. Uh, I've got the micro connected to the flex and I've got smart SDR on my Windows machine on the left hand side of the display. Over on the right hand side I've got a terminal uh, session up connected to the micro showing the settings on the micro and underneath that I've got a terminal connection to the voice showing the settings on the voice. Uh, both of them are online and I've got them configured, I've got the voice configured in station mode so that it's connected to my station router along with the, uh, the micro it's also connected to my station router as is the flex radio so they're all three connected to the same Wi-Fi system. The uh, voice report here is going to show me what the IP address is of the voice. I need to know that and I'll show you that in just a second. But in the voice menu, I really don't even need to have a terminal program connected to it because it's going to tell me what's going on uh, just by the fact that it's the voice. Uh, down here in the far bottom corner, I've got the micro connected to the computer USB. I've got a, the voice here also connected to the computer USB. And then I've got a small little speaker back here that's plugged in to the eighth inch stereo jack on the voice. The voice does require a powered speaker. It can run headphones. I could even plug it into my sound card and record right off the computer if I wanted to. The way we hook this up is I, I look at the uh, voice menu and go down to my the, IP address equals 10.57.232.33. Okay, so the voice is going to tell us whatever I select. Equals enabled. Wi-Fi mode equals station. Wi-Fi equals on. Down here at the bottom are settings that can be configured from the micro itself. You don't need to bring up a terminal session to change these settings. Okay, so what we want to do on the micro is we want to navigate to the configuration menu and then the report menu. It shows report muted. First thing I want to do is select the type of report I want. I have several different reports. Right now it's turned off. I can do the text report which just sends text instead of this formatted menu. Just sends the text report like it would to the voice. 
that can be used with uh, just a regular screen reader on a computer for a blind or sight limited uh, operator. The display is a separate option that will actually run a uh, connection, a Wi-Fi connection to a small little display like uh, this Wi-O terminal that I use on the CTR2 minis. So you can plug this in, locate it anywhere, it just has to be have USB power, it can be located anywhere in your station and it'll display the text that is going out to the same thing as the voice. Okay, the next option is of course the voice report and that's going to connect via Wi-Fi to the voice unit over here. The other thing I need to know or the micro needs to know is the IP address of the voice which is what we picked up down here. So this is the IP address of the voice. I want to enter that in the CTR voice IP field here. Once I've done all that then I can just go up and enable or unmute the report. Radio Cat Online. Home page. BFO. A. 14.48,500. Now once I've done that, anything I do here, the voice is going to tell me what's going on. You're change, 1K. Change the tuning digit, and I'm on 1K. 14.54,500. Fourteen point forty-eight thousand five hundred. You'll notice the four sounds a little different. Fourteen point forty-seven thousand five hundred. But it's once you get used to it, it's intelligible. If I push a report button, I program the first button down here to give me a report. So it's going to tell me what VFO I'm on, what frequency it's on, the mode, that kind of stuff. VFO A fourteen point forty-seven thousand five hundred. CW Tune one K. Transmit off. S pod. Okay, so the S meter is going to be reported last. So now, uh, if I go into main menu, the menu Consider. system, it'll tell me what the title of the menu is when I first go into it, and then it'll tell me what the selected menu selection is. So I change this, so I go up to the band. Band. 20 meters. Okay. Well, if I push the encoder to select that entry. Band menu. 20 meters. Okay. It basically tells me I'm on the band menu. 20 meters. 15 meters. Tells me which new selection I'm going to. Mode. Equals USB. Bandwidth. Equals 4.0K. Auto notch filter. Equals off. Power out. Equals 10W. Gain. Equals 8. Uh, the, the flex radio is pretty verbose. There's a lot of things that change when you change bands or change modes. So we just reported the different selections that were changed. If I Ma change, change mode. the mode. USB. Radio mode menu. CW. BFO. A. 21.124. CW. Okay. So now I know there and if I tune It'll hold off telling me what frequency I'm on for a couple of seconds after, until I stop. 21.114. Main menu. Is. Mode. CW. Video menu. BFO A equals 21.114. As I select one of the options here, it'll tell me what the what the option is. Power out equals 10W. Okay, if I want to change that, I just hit the encoder. Power out equals 10. Okay, now as I change it. Power out equals 19W. Radio menu. Power out equals 19W. Bandwidth equals 500 hertz. Bandwidth equals 400 hertz. Bandwidth equals 250 hertz. Noise reduction equals off. Noise reduction equals zero. Okay, now if you watch the noise reduction here as soon as I start turning that. Value, e value equals 21. Value equals 25. Radio AGC-T equals 65. 
AGC dash threshold as, as equals I change 65. Change the threshold value. Value equals 51. See it changing on the program. Value equals 75. Value radio menu AGC dash T equals 65. Exit. Home page BFO A 21.114. So that should give you a pretty good idea of how the voice works with the micro. Again, it can be, the voice can be a station, Wi-Fi station, or it can be a Wi-Fi uh, access point and provide the network for the, the uh, micro to connect to it. I set it up as a station for this demonstration because the flux radio is on my station router, so I needed to use the station router for both of them. Okay, it's also important to note that the micro and the voice will follow changes I make on the radio. If I change frequencies on the radio, and this applies to any radio, not just the flex. 21.148,100. The micro and the voice will follow those changes. 21.94,700. If I open the radio menu. Main menu. Radio menu, hardware. Change anything here and the micro will report it. Noise reduction equals 16. Bandwidth equals 2.1K. Mode equals CW. Power out equals 48W. AGC-T equals 59. That about does it for the CTR2 voice demonstration. If you have any questions, I'll leave links below on the description for my website and also how to contact me. I appreciate your time watching my videos. 73s. This is Lynn KU7Q.